All right, so it's been 300 days since I started this journey of no booze, no cheat meals, no fast food, no cake, no, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's a good time to do a little recap. What got me started was the 75 Heart program by Andy Frisella. And it was a really good start. He got me into the zone of staying focused and disciplined on my workouts, my food, my recovery, my personal development. But once I got over that phase, now I graduated to the next level where I had to modify a few things. Because after a while, drinking that gallon of water wasn't as feasible because I wanted to do a photo shoot. So if you know anything about photo shoots, you need to take that water out of your body, you need to dry out in order to look dry and crisp for the photos. That meant I couldn't continue with the guidelines of 75 Heart. So I modified it to suit me. I didn't do two workouts a day anymore because at this point, my body had transformed. I was carrying less body fat, more muscle mass, meaning that my RMR resting metabolic rate went up. So I'm burning more calories resting. That meant that in a way I've achieved a momentum where I don't really have to work as hard as I was and I can still be achieving results with in a way less work. So I cut the second cardio of the day and I just kept moving forward with one sometimes two workouts a day. I've never skipped my fasted cardio and on certain days I had the weights, the gym. And uh, fast forward, photo shoot comes. I did it with a little carb up. That was actually day 221. First day I cheated with a chocolate bar <laughs> to carb up for the shoot. I look great. So I did not count that day. So we skipped that day and today is day 300. And in the meantime, I also did another photo shoot where I carved up a rice cake. So 300 days, no cheat meals just focus, discipline, clean food, and water. So since I've been training clients for 15 years in LA, I started getting uh, comments even from my clients. They're like, you're getting a little freaky. You're getting a little too big or too, I don't know, ripped. In reality, I'm actually getting smaller because I'm only 160 pounds but it's an optical illusion where you get ripped, you get leaner, you look bigger. Another thing is, I might look, call it freaky for my clients, but in the environment where I train, I'm just another guy. At Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding in Venice, I'm just another dude. And it's all about the environment. So I might be looking freaky in the regular society, but in the circle where I mold myself, where I sharpen the iron, I am just another guy because there are people that are stronger than me, more shredded than me, and it's where I get inspired. It's where I go in and I go, oh, I got more work to do. And we all need that place where we go and we're like, this is the place where I get better. Because if you're the biggest fish in the pond, you need a new pond. And this is that pond where I can learn, apply, grow, and then learn some more. The mindset is always day one. You win today, just today, and then when tomorrow comes, you think about it tomorrow. I wouldn't have arrived to day 300 if I was looking at it, oh my gosh, I gotta do 300 days. I was looking at it, even 75 was a lot. So the attitude was just one day, one day at a time. You don't get overwhelmed. Once I got to 75, then the next one was, how about 100? And then it was, how about 150? And I just let the numbers go and I kept moving forward, staying on track. Next thing you know, before you knew it, it's day 300 today. And now I have a new goal. 
And the new goal is 1,000 days. Why? Why not? If I made it to 300, who says I cannot make it to 1,000? It's all here. And I believe I created so much discipline by now that I can achieve anything. And I'm actually really excited to see how is this and this going to be looking like in 1,000 days. You have to get excited about something. And for me currently, and I came up with this morning, I was like, what's the next goal? Because you always need goal. You always need that North Star. Once you have the North Star, you set it and you let it, and then you just focus on getting the day done. And then you take a good night of rest so you can crush it the day after again. One of the biggest things that I learned in this uh, past 300 days was uh, saying no. This is something that uh, I had to learn the hard way. It's, it's an ability that we're all building. And uh, when you keep on saying yes to things, that's a commitment. When you say no, it's a choice. So I'll give you an example. <laughs> it was the birthday of my mother-in-law. And uh, it's pretty hard to say no to a chocolate cake and a vanilla cake at your mother-in-law's birthday. But I said no, and I just stuck with my glass of water. And it's just like a basic situation that you might encounter. But uh, there are so many other things that you have to say no in order to stay on track of getting better. You will encounter lots of uh, pressures from your environment, your circle of friends, your circle of uh, co-workers. And that's where the discipline comes in place. It's really hard in today's world to say no, because I believe we associate no with something bad. People might call you selfish, but how is it selfish if you are improving and getting better? Saying no is a good thing, and it's an ability and a skill that you have to develop, and you have to take your time to develop, meaning you have to be patient. Another skill that is also perishable is discipline. You don't have discipline. It's a skill you develop over time. And if you stop practicing the things that get you better, that means you stop practicing discipline, meaning you're becoming undisciplined. So practice discipline. And one of the biggest tools is saying no to certain things to stay on track. So one thing that I came up with is the cipher syndrome. I used to have the Cypher syndrome. And if you have seen Matrix, you will know who Cypher is. Cypher is the bald guy with a mustache that was eating the steak. <laughs> it's the guy that decided to get out of the Matrix and just go back to mediocrity, or should I say reality. I've been having the Cypher syndrome for my entire life. And that's why I've been yo-yoing between I'm going healthy Monday through Friday, and then weekends we blow it up with friends. We go out to the clubs, we party, we drink, we eat expensive fat and expensive sugar. And then you're like back to square one. And that's the Cypher syndrome. You don't want the Cypher syndrome. It leads to nothing but average. Just pure mediocrity. Get out of the matrix. Leave the steak alone. I mean, eat steak, but not the matrix steak. Stick to your principles, focus, commitment, and you know there is greatness in you. You just have to let it out. Just be like Neo. You have to create yourself. And the best time to create yourself is starting today. Because today, guess what day it is? Today is day one. One of the biggest drivers for me is this constant pursuit of the best version of myself, reaching that full potential. And I'm also very blessed and grateful to be able to share this journey of mine with the entire world. Realizing this potential is about not discovering my new self, but actually creating my new self. You don't just go out and discover. Oh, you actually work on it and you create it. And what I'm creating is, is this new identity. 
is this new belief. But the belief comes after the work. You have to put in the work in order to create the belief. It's a cycle. You cannot just believe it and things will fall from the sky and discover it. No, you put in the hard work and the belief comes along as a bonus. You do set the North Star, but work is primary. Discipline is primary. One of the biggest things that I have, even from the beginning, is mental clarity. It's been uninterrupted for 300 days. Things just keep popping, new ideas, how to improve, how to move, how to solve problems, how to get better, how to help people. And this is also reinforced by the mental toughness. And that mental toughness comes from staying on track, staying committed. Commitment is such a huge thing for me. I'm committed to myself. And again, it might be a little selfish, but then selfish how? If I am getting better, which in turn helps provide for my family, being a better husband, helping everybody around me, there's nothing selfish about that. It's actually selfish not pursuing that. So I will stay on track and I will keep getting better. And I'm really excited to see how good can I get. Actually, not just how good, how great I will become.